goal for today is, I'll show you right now, basically we're going to implement So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to implement Simon's algorithm as described in the Wikipedia. Um, and concretely, sort of, I'm, I'm a bit intrigued with what's in the in the uh, in the box in here. Um, and so basically, if you check the other videos, um, you would know that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build basically that that superposition. So a superposition uh, that looks like this. So you, you've got two registers. That will be register one, register two. Zero, 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 one, whatever, and um, but that's the superposition that I want to have, um, <clears throat> sort of as system wide, um, because then my goal is to basically uh, run the circuit and then see if I can understand sort of that relationship in here, uh, and and really sort of the 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 it's probably an overkill what I'm doing, but. Um, since I decided to come back to the first textbook algorithms that I was working on, uh, the Deutsch algorithm, the Bernstein algorithm, and Simon's algorithm as well, I, I kind of sense that those three have a lot in common. Uh, and, and so I'd like to, you know, I'm just taking a look at those problems. Uh, and and I, I think that's really helping me gain more uh, more intuition, sort of refresh some of the stuff that I, that I have been working on in the very beginning of this, of this whole quantum intuition project. Um, so let's let's go ahead with this. Uh, I'm going to keep that open another tab, but as I'm recording, just a, just in you know I'm just recording a browser tab, so I also reduce my editing work afterwards because uh, I don't have to cut anything off the screen. Um, so you will only see Quirk right now, but you won't see. And I have the table on on another tab, so I can uh, keep it as a reference of what I'm trying of what I'm trying to build. Uh -huh. Now, I'm trying to see if there is, because what I what I tried yesterday. Let me just take a look at the bookmarks. What I tried yesterday was something like this, but that was I think too naive. Uh, what was this? Uh, what was it called? Simon's take. Ah, come on. Bookmarks. Exactly. So this is what I tried yesterday. Um, try to basically. So what I was kind of. And again, I'm, I don't know if I'm just dyslexic or what, but I, I just, I keep having trouble. Uh, I keep having tr trouble knowing how those things map. So this is the, the, lo the, the first, just give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. I'm just opening an empty circuit, another tap, and I'll just go straight ahead and say, okay, so. Okay, so that's the, oh, so it goes top down, top down and that equivalent, and that is then equivalent right left. So top is the topmost qubit in the circuit is the rightmost qubit in the amplitude. So this qubit in here is the rightmost qubit in here. Good, so literally, okay. Because I, at first I thought that was, well, it's pointless. Okay, exactly. So first, I thought that was a good approach, and let me just double check. So we start with zero 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 being uh, one zero one, right? So and remember, this is the rightmost in this case, think uh, the rightmost qubit. So the rightmost. So this is the uh, it's, uh, I, once you get that right, then I think this visualization is really good because you can. Okay, so that's the zero 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 column. So you've got one zero one. That's good. Then you've got uh, zero zero 
zero one zero one. Yeah. Uh, good. Then you've got zero zero one. When x is zero zero one, then f f of f of x is zero one zero. Zero zero one. Yeah, and here's because okay, I get it because because that's wrong. That's why okay, because that's wrong. Because as I said, it goes top to bottom. So so zero zero one should actually be this way. So zero zero one, and now I've got zero zero one is yeah yeah. So I'm, I might I. Uh, Okay, so I probably was probably I, I might even have it correct. Let's see. The next one is when x is zero one zero, then the output is zero zero zero. Now I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna leave that for a second aside. So because essentially f of x being zero it means we don't do anything because the cube is already initialized. Uh, the second register is already initialized to zero. So the next is I don't know if you guys see when I'm switching times, probably you see nothing. Uh, so the next is zero one one. It's one one zero zero one one. So and here is again the same problem. Zero should be zero one one. So zero one one. So zero one one is one one zero, which is also actually wrong. It should be like this one one zero. Right. Zero one. Zero one one is no. Oh. Zero one one is one one zero. Maybe it would be easier for me if I let me do it this way. Or oh, is that no? It was control. Yeah, I'll just I'll just. Uh, Give me a second. Cool, it glitched for a second. So um, I was trying to rearrange that so it'll be easier for me to kind of um, compare that with 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 the table. Uh, yeah, my mouse is just uh, okay. It's working again. So and I think it was with control. I can move the whole row. So it was something like these, these, and this. And now it's going to make it easier. Now it's going to make it easier for me to follow the table because it's 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, correct. Now the second table element is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, and 3, 0. So that's kind of like omitted in here. Um, oh, yeah, now I have to kind of look at it. From the row perspective, okay, so that's that's is, and now we've got zero one 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 zero. So zero one 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 zero, right? Zero one one. Uh, no. <clears throat> Might be a coincidence, no, zero one one. I don't get it. What have I done wrong? Just removing these things here for a second. Um, so I thought that's supposed to go from right or left. <clears throat> zero one one. And I want one one zero. Yeah, okay. One one zero. So this this is the way you read it. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, one one zero, it's just some stupid. Um one zero zero and all zeros, so that kind of also we're not going to do anything here. And then one zero one is the next one. 
101110. So it's kind of the same. And 110101. So this is again wrong. 110. One zero one. Uh, one one one. It's the last one. One 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 zero one zero. One 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 zero one zero. And that's it. Cool. Okay, so that builds that. Be, let me bookmark this. That builds us. So I'll call it Simon three. Uh, okay, so that basically builds us a superposition that we want. So it's exactly the superposition that we see uh, at the table. Cool. And and so now Simon's like, and, and now in theory, what 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 this says is we should apply a Haramart to the first register to the first register register register, which is actually the one at the bottom for us, and then and then basically measure measure everything but the only thing that's relevant for us is then the number measured here at the bottom that's that's our uh, those are our y's so and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like these and now and okay and now so now we get these interesting mm. If I not amplitudes, but a chance display. So now we see basically these values in here. Okay. And so what I should do, I should write those numbers down, and then that's going to be. And then that's going to be input for the next for the next step, which is try to understand um, try to understand that. And again, maybe there's a more efficient way to build that superposition, but that's sort of the the, the, the dummy basic way, I guess. Um, it's funny because. No, there are some okay so there are some phases that are like 180 degrees so there is indeed uh, there has indeed you know been some 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 interference right but it's um, Oh, the other way around. Sorry, I shouldn't take a. Sorry. First of all, we're gonna measure these things. That's important. That's important. And so, yeah, that's important. Okay. The thing is, what happens if I just put the measure probe in here? Does this change the the chance display at all? No. Okay. So we're performing full measurement, but then when then we're interested in we're interested in in this number in here. So we can actually see it's easier, okay, it's easier than I thought. So we, it was, uh, we've got either those those four possible candidates. Interesting. Zero 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 one 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 zero one one one. Mm. Okay. Now I need to figure out what's the relationship between 
that. I should probably write this down somewhere. Um, I'll just open a notebook. You won't see it, but I'll, uh, let me see, like the notepad. Uh, I'll just open the notepad on the side and write those numbers so I don't forget. So this, this, and then there is one, one, zero and one on one. So those are the four, four, four possible measurements that we're gonna, that we're gonna get up here, uh, down here in this registry, register. Um, okay. And so apparently each of them times S for some reason is zero. I'm just writing those equations. And probably that's gonna be then Okay. Cool. So I'll I'll leave this here, and then we'll make the next video on on trying to figure that out. So I, I'm gonna keep this one short as well. I thought it would take a bit longer to build that, but it's okay. This seems to be exactly what we what, what we wanted to have, and uh, and if I take a look, so I. Let me now bookmark that actually. It's time on four. And um, and so if we now go to the Wikipedia, basically, that's the superposition we've built. That's the table that I was taking a look at all the time. We know that S is 110. Yeah. Uh, zero. Now the question is, what are these numbers? What is the relationship of the numbers that we got? Why? Like, that's what's, that, that's what's kind of a, a sort of a, mis uh, I want to find the relationship between the numbers that I that we're measuring this equation, this system of equations in here, and then the actual way the circuit is built. And if I find that in the next video, then I'm probably going to be happy. Uh, and then I'll make a summary of the three, these three basic algorithms, the Deutsch, the Bernstein, and the Simon. Again, it's, it's really probably an overkill, but um, spending time on those little details um, gives me a bit more, uh, I don't know. It gives me. It, it makes me feel a bit better. Uh, so I'm just intuitively going to follow that path and then come back to all the other stuff that I was doing, VQE and all that stuff. And there's a bunch of other videos coming up anyway on course reviews and stuff like that. So, but I'm I'm, I'm happy that I did that. I kind of, did, you know, took the challenge to come back to those basic algorithms because the first videos I did were definitely too rushed. But I mean, it's 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 when you do sort of intuitive learning, that's what happens, right? So first you're you're, you're feeling good, you're feeling at a good pace, but then really have really understood all that stuff. That's uh, that's the that's the difficult part. Cool, perfect. Then let's see if we can make it in another video.